Hello guys, Mohan here. Recently, I just conducted a poll to know uh, which language I have to make content so that my friends and the subscribers would like it. To my surprise, I got to know that more than 70% of them wanted to make videos in English. So this one is right in English. Hope you would understand and uh, feel you know much better and satisfied this is a season for vacation if you are someone planning out for a tour in goa with your friends or with your wife or husband definitely this is a must check video for you i would brief you the entire budget how you can frame or what is the most you know efficient way to enjoy spend time also reduce the expenses Regarding the travel, I would uh, say a travel from Chennai to Goa and Goa to Chennai. If you are someone out of Tamil Nadu, so you have to plan for your travel accordingly. But the budget and the accommodation, food expenses, other things will be common for everyone. Let's get into the video. If you are someone watching out this channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to Mohan Talks also press the bell icon so that you get notified immediately when I post my next video or whenever I post my video so coming to the travel from Chennai to Goa it is approx 2 hours via air and if you are planning to go on road a train is one of the uh, modes so it's simple if your vacation is a longer one then I would suggest you to go to Goa via train uh, and return via flight and if you have a very you know less amount of days less time then up and down in flight will be the most efficient way coming to train it you know costs about 500 to 2000 depending on the class which you prefer if this is a sleeper it's around 500 and AC classes vary from vary between 2000 there is single train from Chennai to Goa which runs on every Friday at 3 pm from Chennai Central the travel time is about 24 hours so trust me you will reach Goa only the next day the same time about 3 o'clock the train is Vasco da Gama Express and it runs on every Friday. If you wanted to see the beautiful view around in the way, then definitely check out the train option. Our flight is obviously very very cheap and is just maximum 2 hours from Chennai. You will reach Devolium Airport and from there you have so many cabs picking you and dropping you in your hotel or room wherever you are going and the price would vary between 2500 to 4000 depending on the time that you book if you are someone booking well ahead you might even get for 2200 max but last moment booking it's obviously costly it goes up to 4000 rupees there is a particular cab facility available in the airport itself when you reach the arrival session it's Goa miles where you would find cabs for a cheaper price you just need to download their application put your uh, pickup and you know put your drop location and it will say the uh, you know, bill amount you just pay it travel uh, trust me this is the most efficient way to reach your place so just have in your mind Goa miles Goa miles Goa miles from Goa airport i would suggest you to reach kalangur which is about you know 40 kilometers away from the airport but you can reach there within two hours max and there are so many rooms and hotels available there starting from uh, 300 to 400 bucks and it goes to 2000 3000 so i'm not talking about the maximum if you are planning a vacation with your friends, I would suggest you to take the cheapest room. You have there are some hostels too. 
uh, where you have kind of dormitory kind of uh, accommodation there you can anyway reduce your cost of other cost can be you know taken care if you reduce your accommodation cost but if you are traveling as a business tour or with your you know wife or husband i would suggest you take a decent room which would be around 1500 per day just check out if they have a complimentary breakfast but it will be a good one i have seen those hotels they are really good every look and corner in kalangot we have so many rooms and hotels available next room you have gotten you have traveled and next comes the food so in goa yes it is a state purely depending on tourism food will definitely be costly but if you are someone who is a light eater who doesn't want to eat much rather save that money for some other things then there are so many good small hotels where you get uh, you know a pair can have food a breakfast for rupees 150 so 150 bucks for breakfast is you know decent one so for uh, for lunch you can go up to 200 and then dinner is a bit costly maximum 250 or 300 so 500 per day for food if you are going i'm just saying for a two people plan if you are going as a gang as a couple then it of course varies next what are the places i can see what are the other things that are present in goa uh goa is filled with few things you know there are so many tattoo shops so so many trust me for every five shop there will be three tattoo shops definitely and they are so very cheap and they just you know uh, call people like come for tattoo come for tattoo if you want tattoo come here so it's that way tattoo is very 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 common there so tattoos beaches you know goa is filled with beach wherever you turn you get a beach there are so many famous beaches so many silent beaches and so many you know unfamiliar beaches also and next liquor shop so you have so many liquor shops and people used to have bottles in their hands even on the roads they don't sit somewhere and drink they even drink on the roads so that's something which is you no know, bit fishy but it is goa it's not your place or my place so we have to adjust it if you're someone looking out for drugs or hookah or kind of those they are again available yeah i'm coming to that so first you would reach kalangut and there are so many hotels so all the hotels will be around the beach so it's around maximum 1 km from the beach so you can reach the kalangut beach have some time spend some time enjoy spend time in kalangut market and in the evening you again go to kalangut it is amazing so many people come and all the restaurants and bars will have some amazing lights and some dj's some good songs they will be you know sitting and they will have uh, candlelight dinners they will have uh, drinks liquors stuff whatever so it's a kind of night life and there is one more beach called baga which is very near by to kalangut where you have so many pubs you know pubs will be starting from 600 per head you might get uh, two pegs of wine and some disco you dance you enjoy not only one there are several pubs in the way itself to baga beach and you have again good night life so many shops so much crowd so baga is also a very good place to visit if you are someone who wish to travel then you would definitely take a bike for rent which costs from 300 a fascino or an activa will cost 300 and it goes up to 800000 all in field or avenger i'm not sure about the other vehicles so it's 300 per day you need to submit your original id and a caution deposit and then once you return the deposit and the id proof will be returned to you i would suggest you to take the cheapest vehicle because 
spending much money you know spending more money on uh, vehicles uh, i don't feel it's uh, very good so you can spend money get it petrol fill the tank and then roam around then it's your day so spend two days maximum in north goa and cover this kalamud beach bhaga beach and there is kandulan beach one about half an hour from kalamud and two four couple of forts are there you know abuda aquada fort and chapora fort then you plan to go to central goa which is a uh, capital you have panaji where you have so many churches and a couple of indian temples and few other museums are there you have these silent beaches out there in central goa you know it's a chill place central goa is filled with so many trees and the roads are so good you just drive it enjoy it. one day you have for vasco da gama uh, so when vasco da gama you will have japanese garden and monkey beach few silent beaches again and a grand island where uh, there are people t- uh, who will take you out for a ride there spend time if you are someone uh, who wishes to try out water sports then definitely go check out you have uh, para paragliding uh, scuba diving some couple more so that you can definitely check out every beach will have uh, lifeguards every beach will have people so water sports is uh, again and it starts from around 2000 till 2500 bucks and it varies the maximum uh, 4000 5000 also there are some rides apart from travel if if you see the budget right uh, if plan for a 5 day trip it's a 5 day trip and per day i would have 1000 rupees for a room it's a twin sharing room i'm just saying the uh, cheapest source cheapest way to Uh, plan for that. So five days, it's five thousand per day. I'm having food for six hundred, and it's five days, it's three thousand. For the first two days, you can definitely walk around and then spend time. So you can have for three days, which is around nine hundred. So I would have it for a thousand. At the end, if you want to have some water sports or something, it's three thousand, including water sports. You would have a budget of about twelve thousand. and you can cover most of the places utilize the timing don't waste time in resting or you know relaxing much you have come for a vacation you have come for you know exploring places so 12000 for 5 days excluding your travel from your home to goa and goa to home this is the right time for it and some some of these surprises might vary because it's a uh, season in goa so you can expect some increase in the prices if you have any doubts please reach me out in my facebook or instagram or even you can mail me please like share and if you're someone coming to this channel for the first time do not forget to press the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you need more content or anything in specific regarding this or that if you want something please drop that in the comment section i would definitely make a video on that until then it's mohan signing off